When you first arrive at the city of Burgos, you'll notice the one thing that stands out above all else, its cathedral, with its towers rising high above the neighboring buildings. And even though this is a musty monument, there are a lot more places to visit and do in this northern city of the Iberian Peninsula. So stick around till the end and I'll even give you some tips when visiting the city of Burgos. Even though Burgos was founded in the year 884 by the Count Diego Rodriguez Porcelos, there are vestiges that prove the existence of human settlements since the Neolithic. Burgos was the capital of the Kingdom of Castile and intermittently that of the Crown of Castile from the 13th century until the reign of the Catholic monarchs in the 16th century. The Catholic monarchs were the ones who dictated the laws of Burgos in 1512, the first laws that the Hispanic monarchy applied in America to organize its conquest and the basis of the current human rights. One of the first things to probably visit in Burgos, and even more so if you arrive by car and park near the historical center, is the arch and bridge of Santa Maria that crosses the river Arlanzón. From the bridge you have an impressive view of the towers of the cathedral and also of the gate of Santa Maria, and it is a great place to take a picture. The Arch of Santa Maria is one of the most emblematic monuments of the city of Burgos and it is the entry to the square of King San Fernando where the cathedral lies. Dating all the way to the 11th century, its current appearance is due to the profound reform that took place in the first half of the 16th century and it is one of the ancient 12 access gates of the city wall in the Middle Ages. It has been said that this was the preferred entry and exit gate of the legendary hero Rodrigo Díaz de Vivar, most commonly known as El Cid. You can find his monument, a bronze statue in the Plaza Mio Cid, next to the theatre, and also in one of the six niches on the façade of the Santa Maria Gate, on the top right corner when looking at the niches. Passing through the gate, the next thing to visit in Burgos would be its cathedral. The cathedral, Santa Maria de Burgos, dedicated to the Virgin Mary, was first constructed in 1221, following French Gothic patterns. But in the 15th and the 16th centuries, the spires of the main façade, the Constable Chapel and the dome of the transept were modified with flamboyant Gothic elements that give the temple its unmistakable profile. The design of the main façade is related to the classic French Gothic of the great cathedrals of Paris and Reims, and the twin spires, topped by octagonal pinnacles, are the work of the famous architect Johannes von Köln, introducer of the flamboyant Gothic style in Spain. In the center of its façade, a large rose window stands out, with the Star of David in the middle of it and also above the doorway of forgiveness. The cemental gate, which lies in the square of King San Fernando, is the entrance to visit the cathedral. Made of stone, it is one of the best sculptural sets of Gothic classicism from the 13th century in Spain. The temple has a Latin cross plan with dimensions of 84 by 59 meters and from its three naves the central one being the widest. In the main chapel we can find the tomb of the Cid and his wife. The beautiful main altarpiece work of Rodrigo and Martin de Aya of Romanist Renaissance style and the U-shaped walnut seating of the cathedral choir. The dome that takes the form of a third and sumptuous cathedral tower and visible from the main chapel was again the work of Johannes von Köln, 
But 100 years later, on a night in March 1539, the whole dome collapsed. That same day, works began for the construction of a new dome under the supervision of Juan de Vallejo. Of plateresque Renaissance style, combined with late Gothic, the new dome, profusely ornamented, that culminates in a large star, seems more the work of angels than of man. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to watch more amazing content. Heading upwards to the castle of Burgos, which we will cover in our fourth place to visit, we find the church of San Esteban. Of Gothic style, built between the end of the 13th century and the beginning of the 14th century, it currently houses the Altarpiece Museum. The notable thing of this church is its main façade, which draws all attention. With its main arched entrance, tower and the magnificent rose window in line with those of the cathedral. The church of San Esteban preserves several superb altarpieces that are part of the collection of the Altarpiece Museum. Walking up the hill, we find the viewpoint and the castle of Burgos. A good tip if you come to Burgos by car and if you don't want to pay the parking ticket, you can park your car in the castle parking, which is free, and just head down to the city center on foot. The downside is you will miss out on the original stunning view of the cathedral once you get out of the car. This castle dates back to the founding of the city of Burgos and lies about 75 meters above the city on the hill of St. Michael. This engraving shows what the castle looked like in the 17th century before suffering a tremendous fire that almost completely destroyed it. During the French occupation, this castle saw its revival. By orders of Napoleon, it was reconstructed, but in the year 1813, the French troops dynamited the castle in their escape. The tremendous explosion completely destroyed it and the shockwave affected also almost all the stained glass windows of the Cathedral of Burgos. The viewpoint of the castle is also a great place to relax, admire the views of the city of Burgos and of course take as many pictures as you can. And for the next two places to visit in Burgos, I recommend to take the car or a cab, because while the first one is not far away from the center of the city, the second one is pretty far off and located outside the city altogether. The Monastery of Santa Maria la Real, most known as the Monastery of Las Huelgas, it was founded in 1187. It is a large and complex monastery, with the appearance of a fortress, with rooms that were added over the centuries. The church building follows the Cistercian model, with three elongated naves, but with very peculiar elements that demonstrate the French influence. The northern façade is made up of 19 pointed arches, arranged two by two between strong buttresses, a rose window opens on the wall of the transept arm. This monastery was declared a historical artistic monument in 1931. The sixth thing to visit in Burgos is the Cartuja Santa Maria de Miraflores. The Cartuja de Miraflores is inhabited by a community of monks belonging to the monastic order of the Cartuja. In our days, as in those of its founder, Saint Bruno, men and women feel the calling to live only for God in the silence and the solitude of the desert. This monastery is a jewel of the late Gothic art. Its church stands out, whose Elizabethan Gothic-style western façade is decorated with the shields of its founders. Above the door, we can discern the figure of the Virgin with her dead son in her arms. Entering the church, we find two paintings on each side, the Annunciation 
and the Flemish triptych with three scenes of the crucifixion of Christ. Going onward, we find the brother's choir that is located between the bars and the two altars. The two Baroque altarpieces are of composite order, made of gilded wood and highly decorated. The most beautiful of the set is the carving of the Immaculate, located on the top of the door, below the Latin inscription, Happy Gate of Heaven. The Renaissance seating of the choir was made of walnut and dates back to the 15th century. The Gothic altarpiece, which dates back to the 15th century, is exquisitely detailed and has a surprising and original design. The monastery also houses an art exhibition that can be visited on the tour. And finally, the seventh thing not to visit but to try in Burgos is its famous Morcilla de Burgos or the Spanish blood sausage. It is very famous in Spain, made with rice, blood, lard, onion, salt and other spices. And when you come to Burgos, it is a must try, especially in one of the restaurants in the historical center. So these are the top things to visit in the city of Burgos. My name is Alex Moraras. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the like button, subscribe and just go watch another of our videos before you come to Spain.